Hello, I'm Rachel, the girl with the Pilates mat, and welcome to the channel. Uh, if it's your first time visiting me, um, it is lovely to have you. Do have a look at all the other videos that I have. I have quite a good selection on here now, but all different things, and that's what I'm trying to do, is each time I film something, is give you something new, something different. So do feel free to send me any requests, any messages, because I do compile a list of what people are asking for and then I work through the list. So today, especially for some people who wrote to me from Spain who've been doing my workouts regularly over there, but they said could you do something for us older people who are getting a bit stiff and a bit achy. So this is a senior Pilates standing workout. And what I've done is I've put together some exercises that really target that age group. So they're gonna help with general aches and pains in the joints and in the body and in the spine, but they're also gonna help with other things that you might not think about but do come with age, and that is loss of balance, uh, uh, loss of coordination uh, and just a general stiffness in certain parts of the body. So this is really created specially for you. So if you are a senior, anyone kind of 60 plus really, this is ideal for you and it won't do you any harm at all. There's nothing unsafe in it. Um, and I would say, you know, why not do it with a couple of friends? It's quite nice to work out together, get yourselves together. So that's something you could do if you wanted to. Anyway, you don't need anything for this workout. All you need is like I've got is just a nice soft carpet to be standing on and that's it. All right, so go ahead and get yourselves ready and we shall begin. Okay, so let's start with the feet hip width apart. And then what I want you to do first of all is lift all your toes up like my hands are doing. Try and spread your toes out and then place them down on the floor. So I'm gonna try that again. I want you to lift your toes up as far up as they will go. Spread them out and lay them back down on the floor. One more time, we're gonna lift those toes up, spread them out, and then take them down onto the floor. So it's just to make you aware of really feeling your feet grounded into the floor or the carpet underneath you. And then from there, I'm gonna get you to rock forward. So I want you to lean forward, taking the weight into your toes. Feels a little bit odd, but you'll feel your toes start to grip. And then you're gonna come back to the center and then you're gonna lean back. Make sure you don't fall over. And then wait in the heels and come back to the center. Let's try that again. So we're going forward, wait in the toes. You can feel your toes starting to grip. And then come back to the center and then wait into the heels, right back into the heels, trying not to fall back and to the center. And now I want you to just rock forward and back and try and find the place in between toes and heels where you feel your weight is in the center of the feet there okay this is just to make you aware of your standing posture okay and then from there i want you to think of trying to pull up through the knees have this sense of the kneecaps lifting upwards so you're tensing the muscles slightly in the front of the thighs here you're going to draw the tummy in and you're going to tuck your tailbone under and we're going to start with some leg work so i want your hands by your side i want you to be aware of the tummy muscles and i want you to bend the knees keeping your back straight but sitting your bottom back so you're going to bend your knees and you're gonna come back up. You're gonna to inhale to bend and exhale up. And I want you to look down at your knees and check that your knees are staying in line with the toes. So they're going forward over the toes. So we're going to bend and lift up, good. Bend and up. You can have the breathing inhale, bend and exhale up. Inhale, bend and exhale up, two more. Bend and up and bend 
and up. Now we're going to go up onto the toes. You're going to take your arms out to the side and you're going to raise up onto the toes. Little balance. Whoa. And then we're going to lower that down. So we're going to lift up and lower. Lift up and lower. Good. So this is to challenge your balance. Get you feeling a little bit more confident standing on the toes and down. Lift up and down lift up and down one more up and down and we're going to repeat from the beginning so you're going to inhale bend the knees and exhale to come back up good so think of sitting back as if you were sitting into a chair and up good inhale bend and exhale up inhale bend and exhale up four more bend and up bend and up good bend and up last one bend and up now we're rising onto the toes arms out to the side so inhale lift and exhale lower inhale lift and exhale lower lift and lower lift and lower lift and low, keep going, lift and lower, two more, lift and lower and lift and lower, well done, now I want you to take the legs wider and we're going to try and turn the legs out from the hips but as we get older what we have to be careful about is that we don't overstrain any joints I mean we always have to be careful with that but as we get older we can get stiffer in the joints so we have to be a bit more mindful so what I'm going to ask you to do is to lift your right foot up so I'm mirroring you so you can do it exactly or with me lift the foot up and see if you can turn the leg out from the hip only as far as you can so that when you bend that knee you can still have the knee going over the toe I'm going to do the other one so you're going to lift the foot up turn it out and then place it down so you should find now when you bend your knees you're able to keep the knees over your toes if your knees are coming in like this then you need to bring your feet in as well okay because it's knees over the toes is what we want particularly over the second toe all right so you're going to draw the tummy in tuck your bottom under and we're going to inhale and we're going to take the arms out to the side and exhale up so think of there being a weight on your tailbone and a rod at the back of your jumper or t-shirt whatever you're wearing so you can't bend the back yeah, we're working at strengthening the back by holding it nice and tall. So we're going to bend and up, bend and up, bend and up, and bend and up. Now you're going to take the right arm up like so, and we're going to bend over to the side. So a nice little side stretch, and then you're going to lift and lower down. Other way, arm up and over lift and lower down good so arm up and over nice side stretch lift and lower down arm up and over lift and lower down last two up and over lift and lower down and up and over lift and lower down so second set of these knee bends so you're going to inhale to bend the knees arms out to the side and exhale up inhale bend and exhale up bend and up good so keep that back nice and straight good and bend and up bend and up two more bend and up and bend and up side stretch so right arm up and stretch it over lift and lower down left arm up and stretch it over lift and lower down good and up and over lift and lower down up and over lift 
and lower down two more and up and over lift and lower down and up and over and lift and lower down well done now so you're going to bring your feet in and you're going to have them back to being hip width apart there all right and we're going to work on the shoulders a little bit so let's bring them up back and around up back and around up back and around up back and around good up back and around up back and around two more up back and around we're going to roll down so take a deep breath in breathe out now take your chin to your chest bend your knees and pull the tongue the energy flex forward going down towards the ground obviously we get stiffer in our backs as we get older so you just go to wherever your back is happy to go to all right there's no right and wrong on this take a deep breath in breathing out you're going to draw the tummy in and slowly come up through the spine until your body is nice and upright let's do that again take a breath in breathing out chin to the chest bending the knees pulling the tummy in let the arms hang let the head hang rolling down inhale there and exhale coming back up and one more deep breath in and breathing out into the chest bending the knees rolling down so the idea is you're getting a nice gentle stretch in your back inhale and exhale draw the tummy in and slowly come all the way up through the spine back to a nice standing position now squeeze the shoulder blades together at the back bring your shoulders up and forward so we're going to squeeze together up and forward together up and forward together up and forward good back up and forward back up and forward back up and forward one more back up and forward now you're going to take your arms out to the side you're going to put your fingertips on your shoulders like so and we're going to try and have those elbows in line with the shoulders you're going to bring your elbows together you're going to lift them up and you're going to reach back you're going to try and feel a stretch here in the front of the shoulders yeah and the chest and bring them back down so you're going to lift them up and circle around up and around so this is to mobilize those shoulders mine's clicking a little bit at the moment but i'm sure it's fine just a little bit stiff as it's sunday today i'm working on my sunday and back good so up and back up and back one more up and back now we're going to rest those shoulders down we're going to reach the arms out to the side and i want you to bring them forward cross the right over the left and then swing them back to feel the stretch left over right swing them back and stretch so right over left and back left over right and back good two one and bring the arms down all right from here we're going to go into some more leg work this time we're going to do some balance work so what you're going to do is you're going to bring your right leg forward so again i'm mirroring you so you can do it alongside me or with me here okay so we've got this leg forward we're going to take these arms out to the side and we're going to turn the palms up and the reason we turn the palms up is because we want to try and open out through the shoulders okay and make you feel that nice little release and stretch because shoulders get very tight as well all our joints get tight as we get older so this is also help with that now before you begin think of lifting up we don't want this hip sticking out like so so think of pulling up through that side lifting up so you can really feel like like you've got a thread in the top of your head pulling you upwards all right you're going to try and hold that position and raise the leg up and place it back down all right so you are going to find this challenging especially if you haven't done balance work for a while just do your best lift 
and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. This is the last one. We're going to lift. We're going to try and hold it here and see if you can hold that position. Bring your arms up. Keep holding it. Bring your arms out. Ooh, and then put the foot down. There you go. All right. So that's what we're going to do on the other side. So we're going to bring that leg forward. Okay. We're going to think about pulling up through the body. Take the arms out to the side, turn the palms up. This is all to help you prep. That's why I'm going at a nice steady pace. All right, so we're gonna lift this leg. So take a breath in, breathe out, lift the leg up and lower down and lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good, lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. So did you see that? A little bit wobbly. Last one. Lift. You're going to try and hold it. Bring the arms up and out. Good. And bring the foot down. All right. So even with me, it's challenging because every day our balance changes. So this is something that would be great for you to do daily especially if balance is something you've noticed that you're losing slightly. All right, so we're gonna take the right leg out to the side, a little bit of side work now. Now you're gonna feel it more on the standing leg than you are on this leg, and that's the idea. It strengthens all around the legs, the hip, and the glutes this work, okay? So we're gonna start standing up nice and tall. We're gonna have the arms a little bit lower and palms facing forward. And we're just going to do a little lift to the side. So you can take a breath in, breathe out, little lift, and down. Little lift, and down. So try and stay really still on your standing leg whilst you raise that leg up and down. Lift, and lower. Good. Lift, and lower. Lift, and lower. Lift, and lower. Now we're going to lift and we're going to try and hold it there. Four, three, two, one, and bring the leg down. Okay, now don't worry if you wobble, don't worry if you lose your balance, just do it again. Just keep going, that's the important thing. So let's take the other leg out to the side. Let's start again, so lifting up through the body. We're gonna take the arms out, palms forward, and now here we go, a little lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good. Four. And three. And two. This is the last one and we're going to hold it for three, two, one. And bring the leg down. Well done. Okay. So now we're going to take the leg behind us. Okay. So leg goes behind you. And I want you to bend this leg and think of your back being straight but you're slightly hinging forward so you can feel the weight going down through this foot. Then the other leg will become lighter, makes it easier to lift. And for this I'm going to recommend hands forward and again let's have the palms facing forward as well. So we really are opening those shoulders up. You're going to do a little lift behind. I want that leg to be straight, so no bending at the knee. All right, this back leg, nice and straight. You're going to lift it up and put it down. Lift it up and down. Good. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good. Four and three and two and one. Now you're going to try and hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. If you can, try not to put it down. See if you can bend at the knee, bring the knee through, pull the tummy muscles in and try and lift up into your finishing position with the palms up for three, two, one and down. All right, let's try that on the other side. Okay, and I promise you, if you do this regularly, it really will 
improve your balance. I've noticed a big difference. I teach this class twice a week at the moment and I think in my classes uh, the age group is roughly 65-ish and I think my oldest client's just turning 83 and she still does it every week. So she can do it, you can do it. All right, so let's have the other leg out to the side. Palms facing forward. Here we go. Oh, what am I saying to the side? It's to the back, isn't it? Here we go. <laughs> so, lost my train of thought there. Leg to the back, arms forward, palms facing forward, shoulders down. Keep that leg straight. Exhale, lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift. Four more. And four. And three. Two, last one, we're gonna hold. So we're lifting, holding, holding, holding if you can. Now bend at the knee, and we're going to draw that knee in and through. Think of pulling up through that standing leg. Take the arms out to the side, turn the palms out, and hold for three, two, or one, and come down. Now I know you can feel that, right? So you're gonna shake those legs out. Well done. Come back to your standing position. Let's draw the tummy in, tuck the tailbone under, and we're going to roll down. So you can take a deep breath in, breathe out. So chin to the chest, bend the knees, and flexing forward. Now we're going to slightly change the movement upwards. So what you're going to do now is let your head hang down, but you are going to draw your arms forward. So sweep the arms forward, and as you do, try and lengthen through the spine so it's straight, like a, like a tabletop, nice and flat. All right, and then from there, you're gonna bend into your knees and try and lift straight up through the legs and take the arms out to the side. Let's try that again. So take a breath in, breathing out into the chest, rolling down, coming all the way down to the floor as far as you can. All right, now let's reach those arms forward. Let's think of lengthening that back. Now pull your tummy muscles in so you're supporting your spine. Bend your knees, push up through your legs and arms out to the side. Let's do one more deep breath in. And breathing out, chin to the chest. And coming down, all the way down. That's it, good. And then we're gonna reach those arms forward, extending that spine. That's it, good, bend the knees, lifting up, and arms all the way out to the side, good. Now from here, I want you to bring your right arm up, all the way up in the air. And as we go over to the side, think of your other hand sliding down your leg. So you're trying to feel a really good stretch in that side, okay? And then you're gonna come up, and take the arm down. Other way, so you're gonna inhale, lift. So we're gonna do a little sequence here, exhale. Think of that other arm reaching down. So you're trying to feel the stretch here between the uh, hips and the rib cage, side of the rib cage, lifting up and down. And again, inhale up and over. And lift and lower down. Other side, inhale up. And over, lift, and down. Now we're going to add to it, so we're going to come up and over. Now I want you to bend both your knees, so make sure those knees are going forward. Pull your tummy in, and we're going to do a little rotation of the top half of the body. So it's like your ribs are turning, and you're going to reach that arm out. I want you to feel that stretch going down the arm, through the shoulder blade, maybe into the back of the ribs. Then come back onto your side, lift up and lower down. All right, so lifting up, arm up, going over to the side, bending both your knees, tummy pulling in, little rotation and a little stretch. So it's going all the way down that arm, shoulder blade into the back. Onto your side, lift up and down. Let's try that again. So inhale up and over, bend your knees, draw the tummy in and rotate, stretch that arm out, 
come back onto your side, lift up and lower down and up and over. Bend your knees, add a little rotation and stretch. Good, come back onto your side, lift up and down. We're gonna add a little bit more now. So we're gonna come up and over. We're gonna bend the knees. We're gonna do that little rotation, but this time we're gonna keep going. So that rotation, you've gotta pull the tummy in and start to move down in a circular movement down towards the floor until both hands come to the center. You can let that head relax, take a breath in, and then breathe out, unrolling that spine, coming all the way up to standing. We're gonna try that the other way. So you're gonna inhale up, exhale over to the side. Good, you're gonna bend both those knees. Remember, tummy in, rotation and keep holding that tummy in as you do a slow motion movement all the way down to the center. Let the head relax, take a deep breath in and exhale, coming up through the spine. All right, let's try again. Inhale up and exhale over. Bend the knees. Draw the tummy in, start to rotate the top half of the body. And then we're moving through that movement, coming down towards the floor. It's controlled movement, inhale there and exhale as you come back up. Good, one more, taking the arm up and over. Bending the knees. Let's do that little rotation. Good. And then coming down, all the way down. Good. Take a deep breath in and breathing out, slowly coming up through the spine and back to your start position. All right, from here, let's bring the arms up behind the head. So interlace those fingers, hands behind your head and open those elbows. All right, now we wanna try and lock down the bottom half of the body so we can work these muscles around the waist but also get some movement in our upper spine because the thoracic spine, that's the upper part of the spine, can get very stiff as we get older. So we're also gonna try and do a little bit of work for that. All right, so think of drawing your tummy in, tucking your tailbone under, and I want you to try and pull your head back into your hands so we haven't got our sort of chin sticking out we're going to draw that chin in all right so not necessarily flattering position but it does the job that's all that matters right so we're going to take a breath in and as you breathe out you're going to rotate all right and we're rotating to our right sorry i meant to say and then you're going to inhale come back to center exhale we're going to rotate the other way and back to center. And the idea is think of keeping your nose and your chest in line so you don't overturn the neck. Yeah, we're really trying to move the spine here and rotate. And back to center, good. Rotate. And center. Rotate. And center, we're gonna do four more and center and center and center last one and center well done you're going to bring your hands down let's do a little bit of work with the hands so we're just going to circle those hands out two three four five six seven and eight, other way and in, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Now I want you to open the hands as wide as you can and then close and open and close. So we spread and close, reach and close. Good, four and three, good. So we're getting the blood flow into the fingers and one 
and down. Now we're going to do circles with the ankles. All right, so bring your right foot forward. It's going to challenge your balance again, all right? So think about what we did earlier. You're going to draw the tummy in, lift up through that standing leg. Hands can be on your hips. You're going to lift that leg up and we're going to circle. So I want you to start with a flex foot, circle the foot out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other way and in, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. All right, changing legs, so other foot in front. Okay, so again, think of pulling up through that standing leg, and then we're gonna lift, whoop, and we're gonna flex the foot, and we're gonna circle out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, add in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Well done. Bring the feet back into your neutral position and we're going to roll down to finish. So you're going to take a deep breath in, you're going to exhale chin to the chest, and bending the knees, letting the arms hang, the head hang, coming down to the floor. And then from there you're going to inhale, send those arms forward, extending that spine. So eye line down, nice straight back, press into the knees, lifting up and arms out to the side. Here we go, deep breath in and breathing out, chin to the chest, bending the knees, rounding forward, all the way down, good. Then we're going to reach those arms forward extending through that spine, bend your knees, lifting up and out. And this is your last one, deep breath in, breathing out into the chest, bending the knees and rolling down, all the way down, good. And then we're gonna reach those arms forward. We're gonna hold that position, see if you can hold it for three counts, three, two, one, draw the tummy in, lifting up and arms out to the side. And well done. You can shake out the hands, shake out the feet, and you're all done for today. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope that felt good. I'd love it if you could share it with any friends who are feeling a bit achy, a bit stiff, feeling their age maybe, and just want to get themselves moving at home. All right, and don't forget to press the like button if you enjoyed the workout. I'll be seeing you again very soon. Thanks, bye-bye for now.